hey guys, Fifi Vic here with episode 5 of Javi on Robin. Um, in the previous episode, we uh, stole Pogba off of some dude, and he is going to play at Cam, just behind our VP, and he is replacing uh, Ricky Lambert, who popped up with that big goal in the last episode. You can see the lineup a little bit there. Um, getting good, it's getting good. Um, chemistry is a little bit of an issue. Um, we still need to find ourselves a gold right-sided player as well. Um, but we'll crack on in this uh, episode and we'll play loads of games in this episode and uh, we'll do loads of stealing and stuff. And um, we draw a match in this uh, episode as well, so we open uh, one of those big packs that are out at the moment. Um, so that, that big pack will be pretty good. Um, if you don't know, um, this series, if, you, if I draw a match, I open a pack. And uh, I can or I don't have to use the players that I get in that pack to improve my team. Um, so we get into a game and we get up against this fella, as you can see. And um, he has a Borussia Dortmund badge, um, a German manager. And of course he has a very uh, Borussia Dortmund Bundesliga uh, biased team. A couple of players, uh, a little bit of unusual selections on that right hand side. But if we lose, the lowest player is Jordi Alba, who would fit perfectly into the team. And if we win, we pick up big boy Ramos. Uh, Sergio Ramos from Real Madrid, who again would fit perfectly into the team. A uh, lovely little passing move here. The best goals that I'm scoring at the moment are those goals, where it's a nice bit of movement from midfield, uh, and uh, the runner doesn't get tracked, and I do a nice little through ball, and uh, we are away. Um, one thing, guys, that um, I had a little look after this game, see what Sergio Ramos costs, and he's really cheap compared to like last year. I think it's like 20k or something like that. He's really cheap. It's crazy how uh, the prices are so much lower this year. I'm not exactly sure why. It might be popularity of the game being a bit lower this year, or coins are more available, or uh, even better players are available than people like Sergio Ramos. But he's an absolute beast, and I was very surprised that he's so cheap. But we did actually draw this game, so we're going to open a pack. Um, I normally would open... Uh, a gold premium pack, that's sort of the rules. Um, but the uh, gold player upgrade pack is available at the moment. For 30k you can get 11 players and a manager. Um, so just for a bit of a laugh, I'm going to open that pack instead. Uh, it was a bit crazy playing that guy. <laughs> um, he, he didn't he had like a much better team than me and stuff, but and I dominated the game, drew one all. Uh, but he still decided to do like the shush celebration when he scored, it was a bit crazy. But uh, fair enough to him. Uh, we opened this pack, and it's a mixed bag, as it was always going to be. Um, 30k for uh, 11 players that are all, like, discard value, which is, like, 3k. That seems a little bit unfair. Um, I do not recommend these packs, but I just thought it'd be quite interesting for you guys to see one opened. Uh, Johnny Evans will slot into the team nicely. Uh, Montoya will fit in, sort of, as well. Um, all Spanish players and BPL players uh, gladly received at this point, still trying to get our chemistry up. If we want to compete, uh, as we move through the divisions, we're going to need to up our chemistry big time. Uh, chemistry is such a factor in an ultimate team, as you know. Uh, so I'll sort out these players. This is how the squad looked after these players. I've moved uh, Chichas to the right because it works out better for chemistry, even though he's uh, a centre-back. And uh, even though Montoya is uh, a right-back, I've stuck him at left-back. Um, and he gets 7 chemistry in there, and he gives Xavi uh, 10 chemistry, puts him back onto 10 chemistry as well. So, a little bit of a reshuffle, 2 extra players in. Um, I would have preferred Alba or Ramos, but them's the rules, guys, and you can't do anything about that. Uh, but we'll get into another game, and we'll endeavour to pick up a win and steal the player that we want. Another thing that's made it uh, quite different this year, uh, compared to Robin with Robin, which was the FIFA 13 version, uh, we're getting up against loads of these teams, Bundesliga teams. Um, it, uh, last year, there was like loads of BPL teams. Um, but if we win, we pick up Lam in this game, which is quite exciting. Look at the aids on that goal, guys. <laughs> and the fact that Aubameyang has managed to get tackled twice and still managed to run off with the ball. Very frustrating. Uh, the Hustzi guy, uh, he is, is he Bulgarian? I want to say Bulgarian. Uh, left mid, uh, plays in the Bundesliga. He is the booby prize, guys, if we don't manage to win this game. Um, Chico Flores popping up from the corner to make it 2-1. Uh, terrible defending from me. Let's in this dude again on the left-hand side. And uh, he goes back to 2-1. Uh, but we pop up again with another header and Chico time again, guys. He popping up at the back post uh, with that corner headed goal. Two goals from corners, guys. Corners OP, as we know. However, one thing I would say about people complaining about corners is 
you've still got to defend them right, you know, you can't just say, oh, they're OP. Like, if the goal is scored on the edge of the six-yard box, your goalkeeper should have come out and dealt with that. Um, the goal that you just saw from Mandzukic, again, was such aids. It was such a ridiculous goal. Bouncing around like mad. I could not clear the, my lines. It just would not let me do it. A lovely bit of skill by RVP. Pops him up. And a lovely finish as well. Quality player and a quality goal. His goal scoring record in this series is already very, very good indeed. In the dying embers of the game, a corner. Uh, tough justice. 90th minute. Corner kick to this dude, and he gets that 4-3 win. Absolutely gutter to lose that game. A, a very strong performance from my team, in spite of being uh, lower rated and lower chemistry as well. Really gutted with that. Um, but we do have to go and pick up that left-sided player as well. So we're going to lose Sterling as well off the back of that. But that is the nature of this series, guys. Um, and don't worry, because we'll get up against a lot of these strong teams, and we will be stealing some beast players. Um, I got a message uh, just the other day asking me why I don't do pink slips. And I'll tell you why I don't do pink slips, guys, and this might sound like a little bit of a rant. But um, I don't enjoy watching them, uh, and I think it'd be disingenuous to put up a video of something that I wouldn't watch myself, you know. I really enjoy watching RTGs. Uh, I got interested in the whole YouTube FIFA scene by watching Sam5000 and uh, Trout91. That Those two guys uh, introduced the Moody Swede as well. Introduced RTGs very early days. Um, and th they were just, it was just them making their way through Ultimate Team, really. But I find that really enjoyable to watch. Uh, the guys available for this are... We're going to buy Isco, Isco, Isco if we win. And we're going to get Rafina if we lose, guys. Um... Yeah, so RTGs are what I enjoy watching on YouTube, and uh, so I think that's the right thing for me to put up. Even if they're less popular, I'm not worried about that, to be honest, at all. Um, I just don't really see what's so good about Pink Slips, if I'm com being completely honest. Um, all you're getting is to see one game for a kickoff. Um, the dude has, that's got the player up for grabs, that's like an amazing player, he's got that through his coin sponsorship, so like it, it didn't cost him anything. Uh, to lose that player, so it, so there's no real risk involved, you know. If someone gives you something and then you've got the opportunity to lose it, who cares? Uh, if it was if it was genuinely bought, got through hard work, you know. If someone played 200 matches and then bought a Ronaldo, then fair play. But uh, they're just getting given these Ronaldos and stuff. So I, I honestly, just uh, yeah, face cam as well. I really don't want to see a child screaming down the camera. Uh, nothing against the people that do them. Uh, they're really good at what they do, but I think it'd be crazy for me to put pink slips up just because it's just not my bag, guys. Uh, like it or loathe it, it's just not my bag. Uh, so that is the end of this episode. We do manage to win that game. We do manage to pick up Isco, who will link up nicely with Javi, and uh, hopefully he's going to be a tank playing just behind RVP, but we'll find out in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta.